What's up YouTube, Capital G here, talking about the pendulum mechanic in this video and why I personally believe Konami has stopped supporting it as a whole. Why I think that we're seeing less and less pendulum cards printed as the days go by and why I think that it's pretty much not in the future plans for the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Now I know a lot of people think that I have a huge bias against pendulums, which I obviously do. I don't make any secrets about it. I say it all the time. I don't like the mechanic. I feel like it was way too overpowered, vastly unhealthy for the game. But this video, and I want to make a key distinguishment, this video is not about why I do not like the pendulum mechanic. This video is really just talking about why Konami has stopped printing pendulum cards, why they really haven't been supporting it like they support the other mechanics, etc., etc. Anyways, I want to touch on a few points, and I'm actually going to do them in reverse order, mainly because, you know, when you have longer discussion videos, people tend not to watch to the end. So I'm going to start with the most recent one. And that is kind of looking at Yu-Gi-Oh! from the 2020 perspective. Contemporary Yu-Gi-Oh! and Yu-Gi-Oh! basically moving forward. Because I think that it's kind of eye-opening that maybe Konami has done something that me, a pendulum hater, maybe an extremist some people would say actually kind of brought to the table. You guys might not have seen the video, but I've talked about this more than once on my live stream and in videos where I basically said, look, I dislike the pendulum mechanic so much, I would just sweep it under the rug and I would just stop printing pendulum cards altogether. Now I'll admit that is pretty extreme and I never thought Konami would actually do that. But if you look at the way 2020 is shaping up, doesn't it kind of seem like that's exactly what Konami's doing? For instance, let's just look at our last deck building pack. Of course, that would be Secret Slayers. If we look at Secret Slayers, we can see that Synchro's got some support in the form of the Ad Emancipators. Xyz also got an archetype in here. That would be the Rika. I really can't classify um, the Eldorado deck as any mechanic, so we'll just kind of disregard that. But the point is, there's no pendulum support in here. Now, that isn't all that alarming because these deck building packs only have, uh, you know, they got three archetypes in them. So it's not that big of a deal that pendulums didn't get any support in here. But let's look at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens era and look at the core booster sets that we know about. Well, Rise of the Duelist, the cover card is a fusion monster, and we know we're getting a bunch of Yugi's Gaia support cards. We also know some of the other stuff in there, you know, the Infernable Noble Knights, and we also got Fluffle support in there. Those are basically fusion, synchro, and XC based archetypes. Still no pendulums. In fact, there isn't a single pendulum monster in that entire core booster set but again that's just one core booster set you can't put pendulum support in every single deck building set and you can't put it in every core booster set so that's really not that big of a deal either but what might be a big deal is the fact that Konami just put out the press release for Phantom Rage in the TCG, and they actually specifically list what mechanics are going to be in this set now we obviously already knew that the cover card of this set and probably one of the bigger themes of this set was going to be Xyz. So it wouldn't be that surprising if there were a bunch of Xyz monsters in this set because, you know, PKs and Raid Raptors are obviously going to be a focus of Phantom Rage. However, it is kind of surprising that it apparently is going to be another full core booster set without any Pendulum Monsters. In fact, Konami just put out the press release for the TCG version of Phantom Rage, and they specifically say that there are going to be new Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Ixi, and Link Monsters appearing in this set. Did you notice that there was one mechanic that I did not mention? One certain mechanic that they didn't even touch on at all? Guys, I think we just have to open our eyes at this point. If this is another set from 2020, basically in the Sevens era, that doesn't have a single Pendulum Monster in it, that's kind of Konami just saying, hey, we are basically done with this mechanic. Moving forward, I don't really know just based on, you know, the sets that we've gotten of recent and the sets moving forward, why they would suddenly change their tune and just say, oh yeah, now we're totally going to be all about pendulums when their past has kind of said otherwise. And that's what I want to talk about next. I want to discuss how Konami handled the pendulum mechanic over the course of the Vrains era because their surprising lack of support during those full three years of reigns is kind of what made me first raise my eyebrow and think 
where exactly are the pendulum cards? Is Konami just kind of ignoring the pendulum mechanic? Are we doing away with this? Etc. Etc. And obviously, the Reigns era is not officially over in my book, but Eternity Code is the last core booster set, which I guess is our current set. So I feel like we can talk about the Reigns era as a whole. So obviously, the core focus of the Reigns era was Link Summoning and the Link Mechanic. That's what the anime was about. That's what basically a lot of the core booster booster sets were about and that's perfectly fine because you want your new mechanic to be the superstar in its era so that's really you know obviously not like a surprise or anything like that but what what was kind of surprising was the fact that Konami temporarily took a break or they took like a little pause from the link mechanic and it being the sole focus of the trading card game kind of in like the middle of the Reigns era. If you guys remember that short period, well, it wasn't really short. It was about a year where Konami started giving the other mechanics their own core booster sets. And this was about the time when those mechanics start appearing in the anime as well. It's not surprising or it's not a shock that we had ritual summoning, fusion summoning, XC, and um, you know synchro summoning in the anime. I thought that eventually they would bring those mechanics into the anime, but to give those mechanics their own core booster sets and essentially try to build the entire booster set around those mechanics, that was kind of shocking to me. I mean, to see Ritual get its own set with Cybernetic Horizon, where we got a bunch of Demise support and the incantations, and then the cover card was also a Ritual that was used by Yasaku in the anime, that was something that I just really did not see or I really could not have predicted. And you know, Konami did that for the other mechanics as well. Savage Strike was a synchro set. Soul Fusion, well, that one's kind of obvious. It was a fusion set. And Dark Neo Storm was an XC set. But then as we were going down and we saw each mechanic get its own core booster set, I just thought it was kind of obvious or I thought that it was kind of expected that we would get a pendulum set as well. However, we know that that is not what happened and when Chaos Impacts came out, surprise, Konami went right back to a Link Monster as the cover card of the set and we didn't get a Pendulum Core Booster set. Konami basically said, no, we're not interested in a bunch of Pendulum Monsters. In fact, I guess to that point, Konami never even had a Pendulum Monster appear in the entire Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns anime. So no Pendulum Core Booster set, no Pendulum Monsters in the Reigns anime. I just feel like there were too many signals during the Vrains era that Konami really wasn't interested in supporting Pendulums all that much. Sure, you can bring up the Endemion structure deck, but honestly, I kind of feel like if that's your claim to fame over a three-year span, just one structure deck, I feel like that's a really weak argument. And I think it even holds less weight when you consider that when it comes to the older structure decks, basically Konami is, I don't want to say they're contractually obligated, but they essentially are just kind of obligated to make newer versions of the old structure decks we see it time and time again where the older structure decks are kind of brought to the new we saw it with zombie horde etc etc and i haven't even mentioned how konami massively nerfed the pendulum mechanic as a whole in multiple ways at the very first opportunity that they got obviously moving the pendulum scales into the back row that was a huge blow to decks that uh you know like to play a lot of spells and traps more specifically like trap cards are archetypes like Magic Specters and Cleave Fort that a lot of times could activate like Card of Demise, set a bunch of trap cards and still set their scales without having, without having to discard anything. Same thing goes for like Cleave Fort. Those decks lost a little bit of power. And then the fact that you couldn't really Pendulum Summon 5 from the extra deck anymore. I mean, that's something that still to this day, I, I really just haven't seen anybody do because you had to have a Link Monster or at best you could just Pendulum Summon one monster from the extra deck if you had your scales that was a massive load of pendulums it took so much of their grind power away and it was just so crazy because really when you think about it and you compare pendulum to other mechanics of the past like XC and Synchro, which obviously they dominated their own eras of 5D and Zexel, Konami had never really adjusted. They had never really changed the way that a mechanic works. But with Pendulums, not only did they change two things, they changed it at the first opportunity they got. I mean, even look at Link Mechanic and how powerful it's been. Konami could have easily, with Master Rule Fine, they could have easily said, by the way, guys, you can't use tokens for Link Monsters anymore. 
but they didn't. And that's because Konami really doesn't have a history of changing how mechanics work. I mean, sure, they'll ban Link and Synchro and Sea Monsters until the cows come home, but they're not actually going to change how those mechanics work themselves. But they did it twice for Pendulums and at the first opportunity that they got. So I kind of feel like if you just look at Pendulums and you just take the emotion out of it, you look at how Konami has treated the mechanic over the last three years, how they've nerfed it, and then just the outlook, just the future, guys. I mean, if you guys can find the massive pendulum support that we're scheduled to get in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, I will gladly shut up. I might even delete this video because I'll look so bad, but... I just can't find it. I mean, maybe in the set that comes after Phantom Rage, there'll be some, but I'm just skeptical at this point. Even when you look at the structure deck voting, where, where's the where's the pendulum structure deck? Where's, where's the pendulum archetype that gets shoehorned in there just to say that we're trying? I feel like this is an Xbox Connect type of situation where you guys know the Xbox used to come with the Connect and then Microsoft kind of discontinued it and then they swept it under the rug. They don't talk about it anymore. This is basically... What I feel like Konami is doing with Pendulums. Why I think that they're doing it, I don't really think, I'll just be honest, I don't think Pendulum has, has that many fans. I know Triff loves Pendulums, but the mechanic as a whole, I really don't think that there are a lot of people who love the mechanic. I think more people dislike the mechanic than like it, and I think that Konami kind of knows that. I mean, there are people who love Synchro. There are people who love XC. I love Fusion everything. I'm not sure Pendulum has a whole lot of hardcore fans. I think people just like certain archetypes, but not the mechanic as a whole. Anyways, what do you guys think? Maybe you guys think that I'm just a pendulum hater and I'm wrong and there's going to be tons of pendulum support in the future. If so, you leave that in the comment section below or whatever you felt about this video. You can leave that in the comment section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.